hello welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine dumont a channel where we excite your taste bud and indeed today i'm going to excite your taste buds with this flavorful and colorful hibiscus drink or sobolo drink but before we get right into it if you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe please subscribe to this channel and share this recipe to your loved ones out there okay so let's get right into it so I always love, 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 love to soak my hibiscus flour to the next day. This way it will slowly and naturally release its flavor and color. So at this point I am going to wash it nicely and carefully, okay? And then I put it into the bowl. I'll be boiling it in the next day. Leave it on the counter. I'll cover it and leave it on the counter till the next day. Always make sure you are washing it under a running water. So after washing, I'm going to throw everything into a saucepan. Then I'll add in an amount of water, depending on the quantity of um, sobolo leaves or hibiscus flour that you have. I don't really know the amount of water to add at this point. So at this moment, I'm listening to my instincts and I am measuring with my eyes, okay? I'm going to add in the water till I feel it's okay. I'll then cover it and leave it on the counter till the next day. And this is how it looks the next day. It is it has released its color and juice nicely. And also, these are the flavors I'll be using today. See how colorful our uh, tabletop is looking. Yay. So I'm going to add in. I'm going to slice in some um, lemons. But before I do that, I'm going to grate the skin to get some zest, which I'll be adding later to our sobolo. making sure I am not missing any part of that zest and I am grating everything because I really do need it and while at it I'm also being careful I don't grate the white part of the skin because that part is really bitter and also not grating my fingers I am going to go ahead and cut the lemons nicely into circular shapes After nicely cutting out the lemons, I'm going to add it to the pot. With that, I'll add um, about four sticks of cinnamon and some chopped turmeric. Right after, I'm going to cover it and allow it to simmer for about 30 minutes. Mm. 
Now, while we wait for that to be ready, I'm going to put our master flavors together, okay? All right, so I'm going to add in my berries into the pot. So these are um, blackberries, blueberries, um, raspberry, and some strawberries, okay? I'll then add in a chunk amount of mint leaves, just as you can see here, and also about one and a half cup of sugar. I'll also add in a little bit of water then I'll allow it, stir it and allow it to simmer. You can always add in more berries or more mint leaf if you prefer. The You can never go wrong when it's more, okay? At this point, our berries are soft. I am going to stir to make sure they are not burning and also I'll mash the, the berries to release more juice and more flavor. that to come to a boil then I'll add in my lemon zest you all remember the lemon that I grated yeah I'm going to add it at this point to also release its flavor into our concoction <laughs> I'll then stir and allow it to boil for about two minutes and then I'll strain it to separate the chaff from the juice be able to tell you the kind of aroma I was perceiving at this point in fact I can't explain you will have to try this recipe and let me know when you try this recipe okay it was mm, the aroma is uh, I can't in fact I can't explain you have to try this recipe all right You know, I could have just waited for this to cool before straining, but I, I had to finish finish up quickly and then attend to other things. So if you are not running out of time like myself, you can just wait for it to cool, then you strain it, okay? Who said I was going to throw this chaff away? I am not going to throw them away. I am going to blend them again and then add it to our sobolo. Our sobolo has been boiling for about 30 minutes now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and separate the chaff from the juice.
and again you can wait till it cools before you separate the chaff from the juice Before I strain the whole thing, I am going to add in my blended chaff. You all remember this, right? So I'm going to add it, stir it to make sure everything is well incorporated, then I'll strain everything. You know what my husband said when he drank this sobolo? I quote and unquote. This is by far the best and tastiest sobolo ever in the whole wide world. So guys, you really have to try this recipe. This sobolo is, is really nice. The taste and the flavor is just on another level. Let me know when you try it, okay? I'm going to go ahead and strain it for the second time. After getting all the chaff out, I'm going to add in our uh, master flavors, okay? <laughs> so um, I'm going to stir it to make sure everything is well incorporated and also taste to adjust the sweetness. The sweetness was okay for me. If you want it to be sweeter than what I had, you can add in more sugar. I'll then cover and allow it to cool before I bottle it up. If you really want to excite your taste bud, serve it on ice and have it with your meat pie. And listen to my son's reaction right here. <laughs> that was so priceless. Kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like, comment, share. Okay, till I see you all in my next video. Always remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye.